Hello all. Well, this is just going to be sort of a rambling video because I'm not really sure where to start with this because it's extremely frustrating what's happening when I look in the news so often and I, I just, you know what I mean, you just cringe, you just don't even want to watch, you know, look at the news. And um, I saw another issue today that was just so frustrating and I said, well, I, I'm not going to let it bother me. I'm just going to go ahead and do my photo thing today. And the more I read about it, the more irritated I got. So. Here I am on the video, once again, talking about this issue. So what the issue is, is of course, this nonsense about Israel is going to go ahead and do a first strike on Iran. And this whole thing about how they're having these so-called talks, and um, you know, the, the nuclear talks with Iran, the nuclear agency is now having talks with them. Well, apparently this is the third day, and of course the talk completely died. And why did they die? Well, because the U.S. does what the U.S. always does. They changed the rules of the game, and now they're demanding new demands of Iran before they lift the sanctions. So Iran, of course, you know, said no. And because there's, there's nothing wrong, of course, with Iran, they're, they're not doing anything wrong. This is poison oak. Let me show it to you. In the spring, it looks a lot different than in the fall. See how shiny it is? That's the oil that gets on your skin. So the frustration I have is, of course, you know, now the stories are starting to come out. Oh, there, there was more than 20% in this one drop of uh, sample that somebody took, and uh, yeah, right. And, and of course, you know, how long before we hear the yellow cake story and the, um, what, what the, the, the incubator story where they're throwing the babies out on the floor? That's another um, piece of news speak that seems to uh, come out over and over. But really, my frustration even, you know, you sort of expect this, this, the U.S. to do that because they're running out of oil and they're getting desperate. This doesn't surprise us at all. But why are the people in the U.S. just ignoring it? Several people know about it and I've asked them about it. Why, why are we not doing anything? And two people told me that we deserve the oil that Iran has. And the reason we deserve that, first of all, they couldn't really justify it very much. They just said, because we're the biggest, baddest, and we're going to take what we need. And, uh, you know, if they have the oil that we need, we just take it, just like we did with Iraq. Um, so they find nothing really wrong with it. They, they just find that's the way humans are. They just take whatever they want because they're the big guys. Am I wrong to think that that's wrong? You know, I, I don't think that's, that's, that's right. I, I think that's a really bad way to go. So just leave me your comment. It, it's all about the politics, absolutely about the politics. This is about Romney and Obama and how much both of them are waiting to do the big attack on Iran, get the glory and the flag waving. And over 50% of the U.S. agree to taking the oil that we need. That boils my blood. And then they have to, to take the oil, they have to come up with lies. And, and instead of just saying, we're going to take your oil, give it to us, or we'll attack, you know, they, they come up with lies, continuous lies. So that's why I brought the, the camera with me. I may not put this video up. I don't know. I'm, I'm very frustrated, but I, I bet not more than 30 people will even watch this video. And half of those will click off before they even, uh, you know, even finish it. So. Enough of that awful subject. Let's get on to another subject. You know how we've been doing some experimenting about me thinking about a number or a letter and you guessing it. You guys have been all pretty close. All right, so here's a new one. I'm looking at a stack of this, these boulders right here. All right, and I'm going to uh, make a mark right here. Now that mark, that mark right between those two right here We'll follow down. We're going to measure right there. From that point right to up here. I'll measure to right here. Alright. 
right there. There's no way I can bend the tape over to measure over there. So we'll measure to right there. So to that mark, down to the bottom of the dirt, right there. All right, let me show you a view from back here. I can't really back up any further. It's a little steep in here. Okay, there it is. In feet and inches to the half inch. That's quite a uh, leeway there. That gives you a half inch to be off. Let's give ourselves a half inch off. What's the measurement from that hot peak down to the down to the bottom of the ground down there? I don't even know it. I didn't bring a tape. I don't want to know it until the next video, at which time I'll bring the tape and we'll measure it. Those You notice how the grass has turned dark brown now. You notice how the grass has turned brown. The drought will last until probably November or even December. It sounds like uh, there may be an argument. Yeah, I think so. You can hear the others arguing. They're probably all arguing over who gets to sit where and what tree. I just went uh, up on top of the hill here or where they're having their argument and they all start flying around and uh, two of them were hitting each other in flight that was something else I'm not sure if they were mating oh here's those other two all right here they are Let's see if I can get these on camera you know if you ever try to follow action with a little camera That's pretty hard to do. There's a fight right over there. Oh yeah. There's something going on, I'm not sure. You know what, I'm, I'm thinking maybe that isn't a fight. You know what that is? That may be a chick's first uh, flight. Look at that, it just made it over there. Is there still, oh yeah, see here's another one up here. Maybe they're celebrating the first flight. There goes another one. Oh yeah, it's having trouble flying. Or is this a fight? There's several around here. Right underneath it now. Oh, there goes another one. Wow, there's so, so many I can't even decide which one to follow with the camera. Oh, it's so hard to catch any of them really. Yeah, she just set it still, but ah, they're all around here. Ah, there's another fight up ahead here. Let's see if I can get to it. There it is. Right there, I think. You know what I think? I think the chick landed over here. There it is. I can see it. It's right up uh, there it is. See it right there? Sorry about the rant. Just click off the video and forget about it. I understand. It's a subject nobody ever wants to deal with hypocrisy that the U.S. who has the most of everything, the most bombs, the most weapons, they sell the most weapons in the world, their biggest export is weapons, CS gas, riot equipment, you know, just pathetic, but don't get me started again. <sighs> All right, go. Give me your comments and your video responses. Till next time.